His Excellency, the Minister of Internal Affairs of Cyprus, dear distinguished uh, mayors from all over Europe, my dearest friend, the Mayor of Lefkara, we, it is with great pleasure that we accepted with my team this invitation to address your important uh, meeting today. I would like to just say a few words. Uh, I apologize I cannot be with you today. Unfortunately, I'm in Germany. This is part of the European Integration Project. Uh, but I would like to be there with you and I would like to take you back to uh, the, uh, five, 2,500 years ago to talk a little bit about the birth of democracy. As you might all know, democracy, participatory democracy, was actually born in ancient Athens. In their agoras, 6,000 people were allowed to deliberate uh, up to 20 to 30 times a year. Uh, the authorities, they called these big meetings in their agoras, where people could uh, very democratically discuss an issue and reach some conclusion, some action. Uh, this is probably the best example on our planet of what we call today participatory democracy. Uh, decisions uh, were taken bottom-up after thorough discussion of a subject and voting at the end. Uh, and uh, the advantage of this methodology was that all these participants, they were engaged in the process, they were part of it, so they were after the decision uh, in full power. They were supporting the decision of the majority because it was a decision taken democratically by all people. Now, in Athens, uh, that was a very nice democratic system that could work in these small numbers. And in also in other city states of those years, uh, similar uh, systems were operating. But when the uh, the Greek, it was not called the Greek, the Hellenism was attacked by the Persians and the Ottomans and so on, democracy died. And democracy was reborn uh, 2,000 years later, as we all know. However, today we are talking about very complex systems with very huge numbers of people and therefore talking about uh, participatory democracy today is really difficult. It is the European Union that brought up the issue again now, in our recent years. In practically every program of the European Union, the youth, the education culture, the FP7, the social science projects, they all have money to investigate and explore methodologies to promote participatory democracy. You, the local authorities, uh, you are to congratulate that you are trying to bring uh, the the voice of the people, what we call from all walks of life, into the discussion, into the everyday life of your authorities. In our team, we are using a methodology called Structured Dialogue, which is a very, very powerful tool to engage many people at the same time in a subject. And my associates will talk to you and, uh, about this methodology and will present you some examples. Thank you for allowing me to be with you uh, or, uh, even for a few minutes uh, and uh, using cyberspace. Part of uh, participatory democracy today is being able to participate also when you are not physically there every moment. Thank you very much. My congratulations uh, to you, Mr. Mayor. You are a very progressive person and I'm sure you are going to succeed. Thank you.